Bobby here, and I want to bring you guys another Transformers Media News. This is Transformers Media News number four, and for, for the first time in the series, we're going to talk about the movie franchise. Now, for the first three, there have been nothing but information regarding Transformers or Rust in Disguise, the cartoon which will premiere next month in February. Now, here we're talking about Transformers 4, not Transformers 4, but Transformers 5 and 6. I know those two movies are very far off, like very far from now. But you know, you know, we still have some slight news about it, and you know, we're, we're going to talk about it today but during the Transformers Media News. Now, before I go off to the articles on TFW 2005, hope you guys do enjoy this little picture I found on the internet. It shows all of the Autobots from the four from the four live action films. So you know, you even got the Dinobots too. You even got Jetfire. Jetfire is huge, but you know, yeah, uh, yeah. I um, just wanted to show you guys this picture. I found it pretty neat. Anyways, let's go. Now the Transformers 5 news we're talking about today is something regarding Peter Cullen. Now Peter Cullen, the legendary voice actor for Optimus Prime, you know, he was saying his thoughts regarding Transformers 5 and 6. And he was saying that Transformers 5 and 6 might be less dark. Here, let me read it from here. The iconic voice of Optimus Prime, the legendary voice actor Peter Cullen attended SAC Anime 2015 and answered fan questions. He stated that Transformers 5 and 6 to be might less darker in tone than the previous movies will than the previous movies and will go back to its roots. I quote, I mean, and yeah, and I quote, there's a sense that Transformers movies are going into a darker area, unquote, stated Mr. Cullen. I think I brought the concern to the movie studio and certainly to the writers. Perhaps Transformers 5 and 6 movies will go back more to its roots. There was an occasion where one line in Transformers Age, in Transformers Age of Extinction, which Optimus Prime had, I did not want to say. It was my gut instinct and certainly my commitment to the character not to say the line. But I was told to say, you can't fight the big voice. I think you all know what line that was. And yeah, um, here's the full article. Um, this is the video. Um, I will leave a link in the description for the video and this article itself. And you guys want to check out the comments and stuff. Um, yeah, it's, here, it's on TFW 2005. Like I always do, I will leave a link to the website in the description. I also will leave a link to the video in the description as well and this article. Now, what Peter Cullen was saying, and um, you know, this is like a controversial thing to, um, among Transformers fans regarding the live-action films, because people will think that Optimus Prime, you know, he, he's going a little, you know, they're calling him Murder Prime and whatnot, because you know he's just going in, just killing everybody, with like without without any, without even thinking, he's just going in, kill like anybody he says, anybody he sees, and the uh, fourth movie was a perfect example of that. He was just on. Um, going in and killing anybody on the site, any threat of evil. And you know, people are saying, hey, um, this is not like Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime would never do something like this. And you know, you know, in a way I can't agree with that, because you know, Optimus he's more of a he's more of like, you know, that type of person. You know, that's in his character. But just the but just how a story is set from the live action films, like you're gonna see that's gonna happen. Cause you know, um well first of all he, he 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 got betrayed. He got betrayed by the life force he was trying to protect. On top of that, he got betrayed by Sentinel Prime. Then you have Decepticons killing his friends, humans killing his friends, and he, he you know you know like it, it's crazy. Like so, I can see how why Optimus Prime was like going down this path because you know everything's been rough for him because you know it's like you just got to think of it from that perspective. Like you know. It, it makes sense that he's in this, you know, killing phrase. I, they can like narrow it down on the killing, but I see why they did all of this, regard to, due to the fact that you know, like he's been through so much from all four movies, and you know, he, like I said, he lost friends, got betrayed by his mentor, got betrayed by um, humans, the life force he was protecting, and um, humans even killed his, humans even killed his um, his own Autobots comrades. They killed, they killed rats, you remember that? And you remember how in the fourth movie he went crazy? He said, I will tear them apart. Like, it, it was ridiculous. So, you know, I can see why, you know, I can see why they, you know, Optimus is acting like this. But, you know, I guess they can tie it down a bit. You know, it, it makes sense that he's, like, you know, in a, you know, it makes sense that he's in this, like, you know, in this mind state. But I guess they can, can you know, keep it down a bit, considering, like, you know, the, the lines Peter Cullen has to say, such as, I'll kill you, or I will tear you apart, or die. Like, you know, all those lines. I guess they could take away some of those lines and stuff. You know, like, just die down on the, you know, freaking killing, friend, killing frenzy he's go, he goes on during the movies.
But yeah, um, let me let me know what you guys think in the comments regarding how 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 do, what what do you guys want Optimus Prime to be like in the next four, in the next two movies? Do you guys want him to be like Murder Prime, as most people do call him now, or do you want to be back to like his passive self? No, like and um, in my opinion, I kind of like it to the I kind of it makes sense when he's like in like when he's in his Murder Prime state. I don't like to call him Murder Prime, but you know that's what everyone calls him, most Transformers fans. But um, it makes sense because he's in that way because you know the things he's been going through, and but you know they can die down a bit, they can die down a bit. I'll admit they they should. So you know so some people can get like, hey, at least I see Optimus Prime. You know he's trying to go back to his roots, regardless of what happened in the previous four films. And you know yeah. So yeah, um, leave in comments and uh, what you guys think of what Optimus Prime should be in like should be like in the fifth and sixth movie. Um, you know stuff like that. Blah blah blah. There's really. Really not much else to say on like Peter Cullen right here. Good guy, good guy Peter Cullen. The legendary voice actor of Optimus Prime. Yeah. Well like I said, guys leave a comment in the description. yeah, wow. Leave leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what your opinion of what Optimus Prime should be like in a fifth and sixth movie. I will be posting um links toward um to the articles and this video in the description, so be aware of that. And that's all I really have to say. This is Transformers Media News number four. And this is the first set of news we got regarding Transformers 5 and 6, at least for my channel. Now, anyways, I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, or subscribe if you want. And, yeah, that's all I really have to say regarding Transformers Media News. And I'm glad um, I'm glad um, Peter Cullen, he's extremely passionate. We all know he, we all know Peter Cullen is, but, you know... I'm just glad that he like he he voiced out his opinion regarding all of the things from the Transformers live action films, and yeah, because you know Peter Cullen he's a respectable man. Everyone loves him. Like he, he's just such a great voice actor. It's phenomenal. But yeah, anyways, guys, this is Soundwave Jordan here. Peace. Late.